Hey guys, what's up? It's Bex here. I'm Bex Mana reading and writing Redhead. Hey, Kara. Oh, hi, Pam. Nice to see you guys. I'm really quickly going to do a um, scope here. Hello, hello. This is so exciting. It's funny to see you in a scope. Um, actually didn't know if anyone would be able to see this live, but I wanted to get it in before I left school. So let me say hi. Hey guys, what's up? So it's Friday. It's been a long week. And so sorry, I must look like really tired. Um, but I want to quickly show you a couple books I've been using this month for Black History Month so that you can get ideas if you want to squeeze in one more on Monday or if you're like looking to build your collection for next year. These are some of my favorites. So let's take a little look. And if you have any that you would recommend or that you would love yourself, please feel free to add in the comments what book you love. And let me show you what I have. So as a lot of you might know, these Who Was books are huge right now. And actually, I feel like they're pretty good quality and the students really seem to like them. So Who Was Martin Luther King Jr. is a great one. I'm just going to give you a quick peek inside so you can kind of see the text and it has some pictures, gives you lots of details. Obviously, you learn about other people, other historical figures too. So that's a great one. This one, Rosa, by Nikki Giovanni, is amazing as far as the artwork. Oh, hey, Kristen. Wow, I've never seen those. What are those, fist bumps or something? That's cool. Wow, thanks for the hearts and fist bumps, guys. But check out these photos. Actually, I don't even know if they're photos. I should have checked. Um, but check this out. So you can open up here in this particular part of the book and just get this like enormous, enormous, it's almost like a mural. And just the artwork is amazing. And of course you learn the story of Rosa Parks, the history, like look at that, that's so beautifully done. So this would be good for a read aloud and it, you know, you would need to do some discussion. I teach second grade. So, you know, some of these books, you know, they, they talk about things that happen at a time when there was violence and things like that going on. So you would probably want to do discussions about some of those things with your kids and maybe not totally leave them up for independent reading. It's up to you, depending on what age you teach. This book is wonderful. Story of Ruby Bridges by Robert Coles. I just read it the other day and every time I read it, I almost start crying. <laughs> I have to control myself. Um, you probably all know the story of Ruby Bridges, who was the first girl at her school in New Orleans to go back into an all-white school after they ended segregation. And there were protesters and people yelling at her. And all the families kept their kids out of school, so she was the only child going um, to school for a while. It's her teacher and more beautiful pictures. Like, the folks who do these illustrations are so talented. Hey, Sarah. Welcome, Sarah. And the ending is really powerful, this book. I don't want to give everything away, so I'll let you guys check it out. This is the story of Ruby Bridges. If you're just joining us, yeah, right? Totally. I'm just quickly giving some ideas for Black History Month books. If you're trying to squeeze in one more activity on Monday, yay for leap year, or if you want to add your, to your collection for next year, this is a great book. Thanks for the hearts. Uh, Nelson Mandela. Kind of interesting how the title is on the back by Kadir Nelson, who did paintings. And this is great if you want to kind of do something different from the usual um, historical figures who we learn about during Black History Month, because I feel like the kids don't really know Nelson Mandela. So just check these out. Look at these, another one with amazing artworks. Look at that. Um, and, you know, you can learn a lot about South Africa just from reading this book as well as, of course, Nelson. And I had to include, because the kids love these, who was Nelson Mandela. I also showed early on a who was Martin Luther King Jr. So those are great. 
For your kids who love music, or if you love music or just want to make some connections to the arts, these are some great ones that I have. This is a multiple award winner book about Duke Ellington. I actually had a sub read this this week, and the kids love this. They were talking about it when I they got back, so it's really, really well done. So I'll just show you a couple quick pictures. Like very creative artwork, and you learn a lot about him. You learn about music scene back when he was around, like dancing, music, piano. Other musicians are mentioned in here. Super book. Oh, and let me check that out. Look how cool the back is. I love how artists now will do covers where front and back cover go together. So another great one is this one, Marion Sang, who's another person that your children might not actually know much about or maybe even even, even never even heard of, excuse me. It's by Pam You Knows Ryan. It's really interesting. I left this out for a while before I read it. Oops. Oh my gosh, sorry, I'm getting some notifications on my phone. Um, so actually one of my kids looked at it first and he noticed, let me see if I can find it, about Marion Keys. I'm sorry, Marion Anderson, my bad. And he noticed that in like a lot of the pictures, even the ones of her when she was a very little girl, she is making the same expression like she's in the middle of singing or in between notes so he kind of made that connection all by himself and got other kids interested in the book so this is another great one for your musical students or just incorporate some new things into your read aloud when marion sang and now we're getting to actually i want to do this one last but this is Salt in His Shoes by Michael Jordan in Pursuit of a Dream. And I'm pretty sure, if I recall correctly, Dolores Jordan wrote it and Rosalind Jordan. And one of them is his sister. And I forget who the other lady is. Yeah, right, Zara? Thanks. Um, Salt in His Shoes is really neat. It's telling the story about when Michael was little. And he was really interested in, in basketball, of course. And he was playing with his older brothers and bigger kids in the neighborhood. And got frustrated. Um, wanted to grow. He said, Mama, how can I grow fast so I can, like, play basketball better and help my brothers win the games? And it's this little interesting thing. Like, she said, oh, we'll put salt in your shoes and we'll pray. So, it's really cool. And I just have to show you the end. So... Again, I don't want to give too much away, but we got some great pictures here in this book too. The kids really in my class made some interesting comments, like they noticed that the illustrator really emphasized the muscles on the kids, just even when, the, especially when the kids were playing sports in these pictures. And then they show you a picture of his dream coming true, becoming a basketball superstar. Star. And the kids do seem to know Michael Jordan. And this is another one for the love of the game, Michael Jordan and Me by Eloise Greenfield. Oops, pardon me. I had to substitute read this one. Unfortunately, I had a lot of meetings recently, but the substitutes are they're really fascinated by the pictures in this one. So check this out if you have a lot of kids who love sports. This might be a good one. So I'm not gonna go through the whole thing, so I'm trying to keep it quick. You probably know who Tiki and Rondi Barber are. But this is an awesome book. The kids really connect with a lot of these stories that have main characters that are children. So this is a story of that Tiki and Rondi Barber actually wrote it um, with Barry Root illustrating about when they were young boys uh, playing sports, football, of course. And, oh dear, I forget. One of them got an injury. I think it was Rondi. He, um, oh, no, Tiki. Tiki got an injury. I think he broke his leg. Ooh, I think this book is well loved. And talks about, you know, his frustration. He couldn't play football and fear that he would never be able to play again. And kind of like his comeback story, how his brother supported him and how they were always side by side. So another good one for Black History Month or if you're trying to build your um, 
build your collection and actually show them this, the kids this also, so they could see the photo, real life photos. And this is actually the boys when they were young in with the football team that is illustrated in this book. I hope you can understand me. I'm like so exhausted, you guys, today. This is a long week. This is my all-time favorite book that I like to read. I'm actually saving this for Monday because coincidentally on Monday in our Journeys program, we're reading a baseball story. So this is Teammates. This is the story of Jackie Robinson and Pee Wee Reese by Peter Gollenbach. Thanks for the hearts, you guys. And this is another one like the story of Ruby Bridges that I have to control myself from tearing up and maybe crying when I read it because it brings out a lot of emotions in me. And this really, this book is really good for kind of facilitating some discussions on segregation as well as some of the other books I showed. Segregation, inequality, um, people, how people felt, how it would make you feel if this was happening to you. It includes real photos of the guys, which is great. And of course the kids who are sports fans like this, but kids with, you know, they care so much about each other and they care for other people. And there's just so much um, empathy that this book often really hits home. You know, they really feel for, you know, Jackie Robinson and how isolated he must have felt and sad and um, how scary it must have been to have people so mad just because you were playing the sport you loved. So this is a great book. This is called Teammates. So those are just some suggestions. Let me flip this around. Hey again, so I hope those helped you out. Thanks for stopping by the scope. And if you are a science teacher, you teach science, make sure you check out Sarah who is in here right now. Check out her blog science is for kids i hope i got that right sarah you can correct correct me if i'm wrong she's also on scope too she does some fun scopes and she has some great ideas especially for stem so thanks guys have a great weekend we'll see you next time bye hold on i'm having trouble but you can sign out i'm having trouble there we go all right for real now catch you later bye